Hi, my name is Bryce Hill, product specialist with Dixie Chopper. I want to take some time here and talk to you about the Excalibur 4x4. If you've been at a Dixie Chopper dealer in the past year, or maybe seen it on the website, you've had the same question a lot of people have had. What does this machine do? Well today, we're out on location at a local park, backside of a pond, and we're just going to give you a little taste of what this machine can do and what it's used for. The biggest problem with using a zero turn machine on a hillside is holding the weight of that machine on the hill with just two wheels. The Excalibur 4x4 uses four wheels with four drive motors, making it more safe to hang on the hill. And let's walk through how the machine actually works. Let's convert the machine to four wheel drive. Right now the machine is in four wheel drive. <clears throat> Each tire has got its own separate drive wheel motor and it has a central pump driving both wheel motors in time. So both tires are turning at the same revolution. When it came to designing this machine we just didn't want to make a machine that was for one purpose. So the machine can actually be used in two ways. Right now as the machine sits it is like a, any other zero turn machine. My back drive tires are moving the machine. <clears throat> I'm using my front casters to do my turning. And these tires are actually off the ground. So I'm using this machine as it is. I can use it on flat ground um, to mow any yard, normal yard. When I'm ready to tackle the hillside like what's behind me, I simply hit the switch on the steering lever lifting the front casters off the ground, putting these on the ground, and now I'm in four wheel drive. <clears throat> now let's talk about from transitioning from four wheel drive to two wheel drive. <clears throat> when you're doing this, we're actually changing the angle of the frame. So I'm changing the aim, the pitch of your deck. You don't want to have your grass mowed at two and a half inches and then transition to two wheel drive and the deck be uh, a half inch higher. Now we've taken into account for that, and we actually have a chain in the front that keeps the deck pitched at the same pitch when you transition from full wheel drive to two wheel drive. Well, before we get this machine out and show you what it can do, there's a couple things that we've got to set up on the machine, and we're gonna start off by showing you how you set the deck up before you cut. We're gonna start the machine off in two wheel drive with the front casters on the ground. And as you can see here, this is the chain that keeps my deck pitched at the correct angle when I'm transitioning from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. And we're going to loosen this up first. So I'm taking this pin out, and I want to loosen this chain up. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our cutting height. And for this job, we're going to mow at about three and three-quarters. So I set my pin. Now what I want to do is I want to come back to my pitch control chain. I want to take my pin and I want to get this chain as tight as I can. <clears throat> and the last thing I want to do is I want to lift the deck just enough to where I can pull this pin out. Okay. And I'm going to take this pin and I just want to put it back here out of the way. The stop inside this housing has got to be able to flex past the three and three quarters mark so we can transition. And that's why we're just putting this pin out of the way. So we're about ready to mow. We've got the deck set up. We've checked our oil. We're gassed up. I'm going to talk to you about how we're going to tackle this hillside. This hillside is the backside of a pond. It's anywhere from 25 to 30 degrees. <clears throat> You're going to mow pretty much the same as you normally would a nice square yard. You're going to make a nice track around the yard, maybe two passes around the yard. Alright, now 
now that we've made our perimeter passes around this, we're going to use gravity as our friend and we're going to start at the top of the hill and work our way down. Now as you're watching the video, I want you to watch how I'm turning. That's, this, that's the key to this, to this machine. Okay? Using gravity as your friend so you don't get yourself in trouble hanging on a hillside. So we've just finished up the back side of this dam. And as you can see, a normal zero turn machine would have this hillside with a bunch of ruts in it and probably see spots where the machine had slid down the hill. Not the case with the 4x4. It hangs the hill and, and the most important thing, keeps the operator safe. So I hope this video has been very informative to you. For more information, visit a local Dixie Chopper dealer or visit us on the web at DixieChopper.com.